Have you thought about using serotonin, the natural drug for the human brain, in order to kind of power punch you from where you are now to where you'd like to be? It's amazing how this drug is so available, and yet people don't often know how to use it or how to get more of it or what the consequences are of not using it. And so I'd like to talk for a few minutes about this molecule of well-being that is so available to anybody who has a brain. And actually, it can be drawn on in a daily way to make things go your way a lot more than maybe they do. Well, I first discovered this drug back when I was about 14 years old and found myself out on my own. I wasn't fun, and I didn't have any outside resources. Uh, sounds like recession times today. There was no money. There was no family. My mother had just died, and I was on the street in Halifax trying to figure out how to move in a new direction, and serotonin at that time before I knew its name or before I spent a lifetime studying it, that new wind of serotonin took me from where I was to the place that I had longed to be so that I could help other people who maybe need a power punch from where they are into the place that they'd like to be. And so I have spent the last 30 years studying serotonin and the equipment of the human brain that can be much more useful than most people realize. But if you think of serotonin as a wind for new directions, and if you put your target up for recognition or if you make it aware to your own brain, then you have a very good chance of moving with the wind in your life in many of the similar ways that I did and probably more so. The other day Robin gave me for my birthday a wind catcher and that too reminded me of moving with the wind as it changed and moved like an air balloon in the air. Its multiple colors showed up and I saw the way that colors changed and shapes moved in harmony with the wind. And I began to see how that the brain is activated when it allows itself to be moved with the serotonin chemical that was equipped to take us to a new place. Well, Churchill didn't know too much about serotonin probably either, but he did know that a kite will rise much higher against the wind then it will going with the wind. And doesn't that sound a lot like our lives? Things come against us, and yet that movement can also be catching the winds of the upper air, much like the eagle does when we know how it works. Well, serotonin actually is possessed by people in natural ways. About 5 to 10 milligrams of the chemical uh, is in the brain. Uh, the serotonin is 90% in your stomach, so without recognition of it or ability to use it, you probably uh, are allowing it to sit stagnant when it could be something that is fueling good decisions from the ruts that you are sitting in to the rejuvenation that you're hoping for. It affects sleep and memory and appetite and learning and cardiovascular functions and especially moods. Uh, it helps um, with all of the mental functions that help us to increase our possibilities and find new opportunities to take. Uh, it's increased through foods such as milk and plums and pineapples and uh, turkey helps serotonin and bananas and uh, even things like coffee. Uh, and some scents or uh, different aromas help natural levels of serotonin. So does exercise. And many of the uh, low serotonin levels are causing anxiety, fear, self-pity, insomnia, unforgiveness, stress, and depression in people who could be moving with this wind that catches the upper air. Serotonin. It is on the golf course, there for finer hits to the green. In relationships, it helps you to get better allies. When you're sleeping, serotonin gives you better rest. It's worth going after. 
Across diverse groups, it gives you better understanding to build from multi-angled ways. At work, it gives you innovative solutions and it fuels you to win. And then when those stressors strike, and there are about 22 of them in the, a day, the research says, serotonin gives you calm for confident choices. So there are three basic ways that you can increase the serotonin right off the bat after listening to this tape, just to get yourself started in the direction of this amazing power punch that comes from this miraculous drug. Ask yourself what moods are limiting beliefs or holding you back? What is the fear? What is the limit that holds you back from the thing that you're trying to go after, would like to go after, or have thought about going after? And then the key here, because the brain changes when we act, is to move your talents into action. Just move one talent. We talk here at the Mighty Brain Center about multiple intelligences as tools or talents for this action. But any one thing that you feel is a strength of yours, move it into action, going after the target that you seek. And that begins to move serotonin as fuel, as a wind for new directions. And the key in the third step, first one is ask, second one move talents into action or a talent into action. And next, reflect daily or once a week on maybe two questions to start with. Ask yourself, what if? What if I took this one step today? What if I brought this partner on board? What if I went golfing after not being out for five years to the links? And then ask yourself the question, where to from here? What one step would take me to the next level? Those kinds of questions are the very questions that puts power punches into the serotonin that's sitting idle in your stomach, wasted, unless you awaken it, use it, call on it, and act in accordance with the wind for new directions that serotonin can offer you. Ready to accept the challenge? I am.